What's poppin' Grapple Gang, the best community on YouTube? I'm Cartoon Cory, and in today's video, we're gonna be exploring lots of mistakes in SpongeBob. Some of these are really bad. For example, look at this. Yeah, be prepared for your childhood to be ruined. Let's get right into it. Yeah, Patrick, we're friends. Just friends. So what are we gonna do tonight, best friend? Well, I was gonna practice my clarinet solo. Clarinet? I love music! First up is a very iconic episode from season one, that being Naughty Nautical Neighbors. I love this episode. I'm about to ruin some childhoods though, as here's the first mistake. Let's see if you guys can spot it. A real friend would perform for you. You play? Are you kidding? I've been playing bassinet for years! Squidward is my best friend in the world. Squidward is my best friend in the sea. Squidward... Likes Patrick more than Spongebob! And Patrick is a dirty, stinky, rotten friend! See you Um... I can fix this. Come on, I know you guys were able to catch that. If you didn't though, Cartoon Cory's got you covered. Let me break this first mistake down. So as you guys just saw in that scene, SpongeBob and Patrick are competing to be friends with Squidward. With SpongeBob claiming he can play bass, that way he can rock out with Squidward while Squidward's on the clarinet. Now, as this is happening, we can see this window in the background, okay? And what's important here is this isn't a normal window. There isn't any glass. It's just literally a hole in the wall. Remember this, there's no glass. Well, we have quite the continuity error here, as when Patrick eventually spoils their fun, this window has completely changed. It's like transformed into a regular glass window with even a hinge on the side. I mean, at first it looked like this, it was just a hole in the wall, but then it just turned into a real window. Talk about a really bad continuity error, guys. Like, this one's bad. And here's another mistake. I feel like I need to scrub myself. Ah! Hey, buddy. I warmed it up for you. What's the matter, Squidward, old buddy? Oh! Uh, <laughs> so this is what I find, huh? My best friend and my ex-best friend and rubber bath toys! This one is admittedly not that big of a deal, but it is still a mistake. So, in this scene where SpongeBob catches Squidward and Patrick in the bathroom, like in the bathtub, we can see this sailboat toy in the bathtub. Now, just as SpongeBob says, so this is what I find, huh? This sailboat glitches out for a second and turns blue. Again, it's not that big of a deal, but it's not supposed to do that. This was like an animation glitch where it flashes for a second. Here's it again really quickly in slow motion. Weird, right? Like I told you. Let's move over to another episode, though. These upcoming mistakes are really going to be unexpected. Be prepared, guys. Mr. Plankton, why do you always run out of food every week? Well, you could blame that Skin Flint Krabs. He only buys camp food week to week. And you slobs eat all of it by Friday. Do the math. Math? In summer? Yeah. Next up, we've got a very, very quick mistake from the Camp Coral episode, Quest for Tyra. I'm gonna keep this section quick as I know a lot of you guys like SpongeBob over Camp Coral. Here's the mistake though, take a look at this. Ha! Gotcha corner! You're mine! So throughout this episode, Patrick over here wears like a bandana on his head, okay? And as you can see, it's purple. We can especially see it during this scene when the truck faces Patrick and the camera faces him as well. However, seconds later, when the truck drives towards Patrick, look. Like I said, that bandana was originally purple, but in this one shot, why is it red? Patrick didn't change bandanas in a matter of seconds. This was a mistake. This one's weird though, because Camp Coral is 3D animation so that bandana would have been a 3D model. So how it changed colors is beyond me. But anyways, like I said, this section's gonna be quick. Let's head back over to good old fashioned SpongeBob, baby. Excuse me, gents, but what's with all the hullabaloo? We're just waiting in line to buy a Krabby Patty. Krabby Patty? <laughs> what's the uh, password, please? What are you talking about, you gargantuan buffoon? That's it! Come right in! 
Listen! Curse you! Let's talk about an episode from season five. The episode is Band in Bikini Bottom. There are a ton of mistakes in this episode, like a lot. Here's the first one. Sweet to eat, treat that's neat. Sweet, treat, treat, sweet, treat, sweet, treat to eat. This wild hooligan running amok, singing, dancing, it's, it's shameless, disgusting. This one requires you guys to really, really pay attention, so listen closely, Grapple Gang. This character right here is Miss Grusselpus. She has a very big role in this episode, as she's the one who bans Krabby Patties from Bikini Bottom. Anyways, though, as you guys just saw, when Miss Grusselpus over here blows her whistle, we can see that the whistle is connected to this black lanyard around her neck, all right? It's like a necklace, and the whistle's attached at the end. Remember this, you can see it right here, as in the next scene, like seconds later, when we see her again, everything has changed. Her whistle is no longer connected to a black lanyard, and it's now randomly connected to the thread of her shirt. Again, without the lanyard, the lanyard's just gone. Here's a quick side-by-side, -side. like look at how different it is. This happens in a matter of seconds and is totally a mistake, guys, and here's another one from this episode. This one's worse. <laughs> Hello, and welcome one and all your money to ye old crusty crabby. Come along, sisters. Pay no mind to this crimson abomination. I know you guys had to catch that one, as at the very beginning of the episode, when Mr. Krabs greets Mrs. Grusselpus, where is my boy's belt? It's more specifically this shot in front of the Krusty Krab, like where is his belt? In the next shot, it's back as you can see here. But in that one shot, my boy is missing his belt. What? If you thought that was bad though, stay tuned guys. Lots of weird mistakes coming up. Here we go. Uh -huh. Oh, it's a little hot. Huh? Any longtime viewer, any Grapple Gang member knows that Cartoon Cory over here loves old SpongeBob. So join me as we talk about more mistakes, but from another classic banger episode, season one's Jellyfishing. <laughs> Oh, what is happening here? Collectors? This one's really, really weird. So, at the beginning of the episode, the sky is blue as if it's the daytime. But then, when SpongeBob and Patrick come out of the pineapple, seconds later, the sky is orange as if it's going into the evening. And then, seconds later, this all happens in a matter of seconds. When they chase this jellyfish, look, the sky is randomly blue again. Now, if the time of day actually changed, this wouldn't be a mistake, right? Like, the color of the sky usually depicts what time of day it is. For example, this is how Con Street looks in the morning, this is how Con Street looks in like the late evening, and this is how Con Street looks at nighttime. But because everything I just mentioned all happens in the span of one scene, this is a mistake. The sky wouldn't randomly change orange and then change back to blue. Clearly the animators messed up and thought that this part of the episode was like the late evening or something and then realized and changed it back to blue. I don't know. What I do know though is we got more mistakes coming up, so let's keep it moving and head over to another episode with wild mistakes. Welcome to the Tetherby Country Club. Ooh, comfy. Of course. Now shall we dine, old bean? Sounds good to me, old, uh, carrot. 
Listen guys, if you're a fan of Spongebob, then you're definitely going to like The Loud House. The Loud House is also made by Nickelodeon and is very closely tied to Spongebob. For example, here's a really quick Easter egg of Spongebob in The Loud House. Really, really cool stuff and there's plenty more like that. So let's take a second to talk about The Loud House and then I'll get right back to Spongebob. For the mistake to make sense though, here's a little bit of context, okay? The mistake focuses around these two characters, Lori, she looks like this, and Lisa, who looks like this. All right, let's see if you guys can spot the mistake. You're looking at the grand prize winner of the Seeds Mustard Win a Limo for a Day contest. I had to eat my weight in mustard, but I finally found the winning jar. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'm Kirby, your personal chauffeur for the day. Whoa! This limo has new fancy mustard collection! Did you catch it? It's really bad. So in this scene, when all of the sisters are running out of the house, if we pause at this frame, we can see that those two characters I mentioned, Lori and Lisa, are completely missing their bodies. I'm zooming in, you can see it here, those bodies are not there, they were just drawn as floating heads. How in the world do you forget to draw a character's body? I guess it's because of the type of shot it is, where there's a ton of characters on screen, but yeah, pretty bad. Let's head back over to Spongebob though. Now just relax and let the equipment do which job? <laughs> the Krabby Patty formula's gotta be in here somewhere. What's going? <laughs> <laughs> the season six episode Krabby Road is one of the best episodes from season. That season is rough, dude. It has some really bad moments, but Krabby Road is pretty good. Here are some really funny moments from the episode. We'll get into the mistakes right after. Hey, it's my old guitar. I used to play it when I was in that band as a kid. I wish I was buying up some Krabby Patties. That's what I really love to do. Take a cup of ooh, and a pinch of ooh, that was a delightful song you were singing. Thanks, Plankton. Mr. Krabs makes me censor out all the patty ingredients from my lyrics. Oh, that's terrible! Come on, let's go get our band together. Now where does Krabs keep that formula? Whoa, that's my we're gonna be stars! Dude, the idea of Spongebob, Plankton, and just everybody starting a band is hilarious, and some of their outfits is just so funny. Look at Plankton, he looks like a classic rocker. Anyways, though, it's mistake time, baby. Let's get into these mistakes. Would you help us by joining our band? I wouldn't soil my art playing rock and roll, dressing all in black, playing enormous stadiums filled with screaming, adoring fans, cheering me. <laughs> Oh, I changed my mind. But I gotta get in shape first. My perfect dream body. So this first one is a nitpick. It's technically a mistake though, still. But let's take a look at SpongeBob's house, okay? From any other episode. This is how it looks, okay? Pay attention to the door and the size of the door. Well, in Krabby Road, take a look at SpongeBob's house again, as what in the world is going on with his door? It's like almost half the size of the house. Again, for reminder, look at this shot of his house from literally any other episode. It doesn't look like that. In this episode though, it's just really weird. That door is massive. And it's totally a mistake. It never looks like this, dude. Like, this one is just so strange. That is a big door. Here's another big mistake from this episode, though. This one's spicy. I'm a failure. Cheer up, Plankton. We've still got a whole week before our first gig at the Krusty Krab. But old man Krabs doesn't want us bugging the customers, so we have to go in after hours when nobody's there. Come on, come on, hurry up. Don't worry, I just need to get the key out. Mm. Give me that, you incompetent fool! Yes, the Krabby Patty formula is mine! Uh, I mean, we'll have a great time! I have no idea how I caught this mistake, but listen closely. So when Plankton unlocks the door to the Krusty Krab, take a look at the key. That key is horizontal, as you can see right here. All right, it's horizontal. But as the scene progresses and we see the key again, now it's vertical. At first it was horizontal, now it's vertical, which is an understandable continuity error, but it's still a weird 
weird one. Lots of weird mistakes in this episode, huh? Like, they're not the normal types of mistakes we normally cover. These ones are just weird, like the door being huge. Anyways, now, that's going to do it for today's video, Grapple Gang, but don't click off yet. Instead, click this video right here. We can hang out more, plus I talk about even crazier mistakes, guys. If you want to see Spongebob mistakes that almost got the show cancelled, click this video right here. I'll see you over there. We'll share a crusty crap pizza together. And yeah, I love you, Grapple Gang. Click the video. I'll see you guys over there. Do it. Click it, click it, click it.